Welcome back to my channel and happy holidays. So today I'm going to be decorating the tree you see standing behind me. It is nine feet tall. Hopefully you guys can see this. Um, this is my uh, black and white and gold tree. So uh, in case you guys are wondering, here at Wildfell Manor I have 10 Christmas trees. Now of those 10, only nine are decorated. The 10th one is in the third floor. That area has not been finished off but it's sitting in front of the um window so you can see it from outside i do have battery operated string lit lights on it but i do need to add more to make it brighter uh, all of the nine all the nine trees that i have they're not decorated similarly each of them has a separate theme and i will be doing a full christmas tree tour as we get closer to the holidays i'm sure you guys would like to see it uh, so like i said this one is a black and white and gold um, this year i decided to do something a little bit different uh, last year um, i was watching uh, north lawn flower farm and she was doing a botanical christmas tree that i was inspired in part by what they do at winter thur and I've never been to Winterthur, but I did look at some pictures online and I thought it was really nice. So I thought this year I would try to step into doing a botanical tray. Now, I've seen some people use uh, like the limelight hydrangea blossoms and I kind of like the concept, but I think some of the execution I've seen was not the best. Um, I don't like the brownish tan on it because like I said it just doesn't go with the decor I have it's a little bit more rustic and I've got a Victorian which it needs to be a little bit more jazzy so I thought it'd be cool to spray paint them gold uh, so earlier this season uh, maybe like a month or so ago I went and cut off a bunch of blooms from my hydrangeas my limelight hydrangeas and I used just rust-oleum gold um, like gold spray tan uh, it's just spray paint, that's what it is, it's just spray paint, gold spray paint to paint them all gold. So I will be giving you guys a close up on the tray. Uh, so that's how I decided to do it. Now uh, this past Friday I went to Longwood Garden and so uh, of course when you're touring they have, they do have some botanical Christmas trees. So one of the buildings they actually had a tree that they use limelights. Now in their case they cut the blooms earlier so they were still white and the nice thing about hydrangeas is once you cut them, they do stay that color. So they were nice and white and they looked nice, but of course, once again, I wanted mine gold. Uh, but the thing about it is that they had this topper and it looks almost like wheat, like almost like wheat they had top, at the top of the tree. But I was like, you know what? I had floral picks, those gold floral picks, and I had them from last year and I thought, you know what? That'll be a great topper. That'll kind of give me this similar look. So that's what I've already put up there. Um, I put you some um, gold glitter tall um, mesh uh, to kind of wind through the tree and I've got the um, hydrangeas in place. And so the next step is adding all the balls. So I am just going to be filling in balls everywhere there is a space. Um, I think it's going to, the tree is going to look really crowded. I think it's going to look really nice. It's just going to be boom. And that's kind of what I want. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to set the camera up, I'm going to back it up so you guys can see the full effect, and I'm just going to go until this is done, hopefully that this doesn't take me too long. Um, next year, I'm definitely going to continue doing a botanical tree, I'm probably going to spread it to other rooms. Let me go get you, some, uh, show you what I've been, I'm experimenting for next year. Okay, so I got these from um, Michael's. Now they do have some glass ones, which are smaller, and I do have some of those. And those kind of, um, they're like a hinge lid. And I'm still working on what I'm gonna put in there. But as you can see, 
one of the hydrangea blossoms rather than spray painting a gold I got the rustoleum just like the glitter spray and so I just basically put it in here and basically you just put it through a string and hang it up in the tree and I think that looks really cute and so um, I, I don't have like all the hydrangeas I have they're kind of big so I don't know I mean I guess, I guess if I pull some of these florets off I can stuff them in the little um, glass balls but once again this is a idea I'm picking up to do primarily for next year so I do need to get go to Michael's and get I bought all the glass ones they have but I'll get some plastic ones because obviously you know although the glass ones look better I have a lot of Christmas trees and that number is only going to get increased because um, right now I've got one in my living room and I'm planning to get two pencil ones to uh, flank the main window and then I'm going to put one in my sewing room so that'll be bring my total I guess 12 on the first floor and then over time when I you know I'm redecorating this, the second floor bedrooms I'm going to be doing smaller themed trees in each bedroom so because I want it to scream Christmas so anyway that's the plan guys so like I said I'm just going to set the time lapse up so you guys can watch me uh, do the rest of this tree so uh, hopefully this won't take me too long Okay guys, so I have a minute left. I've got some more to go on there, but it's looking, uh, looking really decked out. So I'm gonna stop it right here and I'll come back after I finish getting all the ornaments on.